I'd like to show you some of the additional functionality uh, that you have available within a G Suite. So let's just come back first of all to my drive. So this is where all my files are stored. Now, if you're used to navigating through a Microsoft folder system, this will look quite different. What Google does is search. So I just created a demo folder. I just put the name into the box here and you can see that I have that folder. That icon represents a folder. These are Google Docs. So I can very quickly find that folder and the contents of it just by typing into the search. I don't have to remember which subfolder or sub subfolder I put it into. But that's a real advantage for me in finding my way around. So that's Google Suite. Now, another of the um, app applications that you may find useful, particularly for virtual exchange, is the YouTube. Bearing in mind that on a Google Suite, you've got unlimited storage so let's just click into YouTube. Now, just checking again, I keep coming to the top right hand corner, check I'm, I'm still in the right account. And here is a YouTube account. Now, what I, this is my YouTube account. This is my channel under this identity, which actually I haven't ever used before. Um, I use it on different identities. So I'm going to come into the um, latest studio within YouTube. YouTube, uh, Google has a way, as you know, of changing interfaces at a moment's notice. So they have a new interface, which is very clean and smart, but looks slightly different uh, from what you might be used to. Now, if you have YouTube access, obviously you can upload videos on this account and you can again make them visible to people who share your domain or the wider public. And again, you set those permissions and you decide who can see what. Now what I'm going to be interested in is actually the additional feature of making a live streamed recorded event. Now all of this is free to access if you're using a Google Suite. And it is free on Google in the wild as well. Uh, but it does have to be um, authorized. So um, to, in order to find that I'm going to come down to more under other features. And then under live streaming, if I expand that by clicking on that little arrow, you can see there that I have an events possibility. Now this is where I can select and set up uh, an online meeting. Now in this case, because I haven't used this channel before, I've requested this facility and it will take 24 hours for checks to be done to make sure that I am authorized to do this and that I don't upload all sorts of strange things um, that are not welcome. So I won't be able to actually add an account here for 24 hours. But bearing in mind that I already have an account on a different identity, I'm going to come right back up here to the very top uh, to my other identity. So within my YouTube channel, I'm going to come into the studio area for creating an event. I'm going to again look at this new um, interface that has just been applied. So I, I haven't looked at YouTube through the new interface yet. So here we are. Under live streaming, I can open this up. So this is my channel with my other identity and I can come to events. And I can schedule a new event. Uh, I can obviously use the calendar here to schedule it, give it a title, give it a start and end time, decide whether this event is going to be available publicly, whether it's unlisted. In other words, it will be difficult to find un unless people actually have the direct link uh, or whether it's a private recording just for myself. And having created that event, I will then be able to, to jump into it and to share the link to that event with others. So that's what the interface looks like and it's easy to try out. You'll find lots and lots of video resources online showing you how to create an event in YouTube. If you go to YouTube and say create an event in YouTube, you'll easily find how that is done. We're going to take a little look at another of the 
applications that are available in your G Suite, a Google Plus community. So if I click on G Plus and then come down to communities here, you can see communities that I have set up and been in recently. You can also see communities that I'm a member of. Now, a Google Plus community is a, a way of creating a shared space for people to join and share um, information. So let me just give you a quick guided tour of the one we've set up for our virtual exchange, which is called Echange Warwick Clermont. So on the left hand side here, you can see the number of members. This is a public group, so it's totally open. Again, the permissions you can set at whatever level you wish to. Three little dots up here give me more uh, options for actually editing the community and managing members and setting it up. Um, so what I've done is use those three little dots to insert an image at the back there and also to set up a creation of a set of filters here. So within this community, you can see there are lots of filters. As you, as you scroll down in the main community, there's a lot of communication and interaction going on here. But the little details here in green show us that these conversations are happening in a particular filter. So if I want to see what's going on in sport, for example, I just click the sport filter and I can see what sorts of interactions are happening in sport. Now, if I want people to introduce themselves, again, I can literally just use the filter. So it's these filters here that help sort through the various interactions and the information that's going on um, and help the community to comment and communicate between each other. But by default, you see all posts and the most recent active post is shown first, followed by later um, interactions. Uh, of course, you can just search the community as well. So you can go and look for a particular word or a particular person using the search here. And I have a manage button here because I created this community and I can use that then to go into the details of any member requests, any um, posts that need reviewing, depending on the um, settings for the community. So this is quite a nice, easy interface for connecting people. Um, and once people are familiar with it, they're usually very interested in, uh, in engaging with it. And hopefully it will form a nice, useful, asynchronous space for your virtual exchanges.